What's up, what's up? So, I've been talking about doing this little video channel feed, whatever it is, for a long time. And I said I knew when it was time. And it's time. So, uh, first off, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Rob Smith. I'm 37 years old. I live in Covington, Ohio. And I have been in and out of church all my life. I'm not going to get into my whole backstory, but up until the last year ago, year and a half ago, Easter of 2018 is when I dedicated my life to God, full on giving it what I had. And that's not to say that there aren't days where I'm tested or I'm mean to people in my life, to my coworkers, to my friends, whomever, or that I don't sin. Like, I do all that stuff. But I try every day to be better than I was yesterday. And I just want to come on here today, and I'm not going to get into this big thing and take 20 minutes of your time. I just want to come in here and say, like, for those of you who don't go to church or haven't been in a while, y'all are missing out, man. Like, for real, y'all are missing out. I find it really incredible. Like, I missed four straight weeks of church, and I just felt so bad. And I was going through some things, and I was in the valley. And, like, most of the time when I'm in the valley... Like, I'm praying. I'm like, God, please get me out of here. But at this time, I just, I didn't talk to God. And, and and this is after, like, I have all these people coming to me and telling me, like, man, you're making me feel so good. You made me come to church. My friends coming to me and saying, you know, like, I've inspired them. And friends I haven't talked to in years who have seen stuff on social media and they're coming to me like, man, I really want to come to your church. After all this, after reading my Bible multiple times a day, daily, I just, something happened. And I can't put my finger on it. I was just in a valley and I stopped going. And I stopped praying. I stopped talking to God. And I knew, like in my head, I knew like, man, you belong there. My pastor sent me up, bro. What are you doing? I got my boys from church hit me up and. You know, uh, I didn't know what was happening, but I knew I needed to be there. And I'll tell you what, man, when I walked back in that church, just just being there, I knew straight up, like, yeah, like, what, why did I waste four weeks not being here? Like, this is where you need to be. So, real quick, like, this, my message today is just this, like, be there, go to church. Um... For me, I think what really changed me was finding the right church at the right time. I had been through so many churches and so many times I told God, like, this is the time, God. This is the time that I'm going to commit my life to you. I, and it feels like I've told God that like a hundred times. It really does. Um, but finding the right church is what changed things for me like completely turning around. I've been to churches who have made me feel good and they've tried, but it's just like I'm, I go to church and church is cool. And then I leave church and either by Sunday afternoon or Monday, like nothing. Like I'm not applying this. I'm not reading my Bible. I'm not doing any of that stuff. It's just like, eh. So it might be different for everybody, but for me, finding the right church change me having people who I don't know and don't know me just reach out made a difference having a pastor who treated me like a brother and a friend made a difference and, and I I go to church and I volunteer now which I never volunteered before and I just feel good. Like, I feel good. Tonight I was at church, man. And I, I held signs. Just people driving by on the highway. And I'm, I'm holding signs like, 
hey, what's up? And I'm having the time of my life. So maybe, I mean, I'm rambling for everybody is different, but find the right church, get in the church. And I know people say you don't have to go to church to believe in God, but man, going to church is like, it's like, uh, your, your battery on your phone. Going to church is charging you up. Like you're cool at home. You're cool praying to God at home. And that's okay. But sometimes you need charge. For me, going to church does that. Um, so tonight my message is, is pretty clear. Like get in there. And if you need somebody to pray for you or you need uh, someone to talk to, then reach out to me. If you don't know me, uh, if you don't know me in person, then hit me up on Twitter at the Rob Smith. Pretty simple, Rob with two Bs, and uh, send me a follow or DM. We'll figure it out. We'll talk. I'll pray for you, and I'll do everything I can to help you get to where you need to be. And God will do the rest. Before I leave, I'm gonna read. Uh, I'm gonna just read something real quick. Uh, real quick. So uh, I take notes every week and then sometimes I'll be doing things at work or home or wherever and I'll just write things down when I'm reading the Bible or whatever. Uh, so real quick, here's what I got. A couple things. You cannot plant the Word of God until you plow the field. What does that mean to you? You cannot plant the Word of God. You cannot plant the seed until the field is plowed, do the work. For me, that's read the Bible. Straight up, read the Bible. And I never, ever wanted to read the Bible. I'm not even lying to you. I did not find it fun. I've only been reading the Bible a few months, maybe five, six months, if that, maybe. And I've read the Bible a lot, but not like on a regular basis. And someone got me hip to the version Bible. It's an app. And I do lots of plans. And I read the Bible. And I'm learning so much. And to me, it's just like the best thing ever. And it does help you connect with God. And it does help you in your faith. So I think that's what that is. You can't plant the word of God until you plow the field. For me, that's how I see it. Uh, and one more. Worship is forgetting what's wrong with you and remembering what's right with God. We let that go. When we're worshiping the Lord, we're not worrying about ourselves. We're remembering that the Lord is great, that God is great. He has done everything for us. We may not see it now, but it's taken care of. Plain and simple, it's taken care of. Uh, what do I got? I got one more. I got one more. I gotta find it here. Right here. God will always supply you with what you need. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's taken care of. Worship is forgetting what's wrong with you and remembering what's right with God. God is great. He will supply you with everything you need. And sometimes all it takes is a little faith. And when you find that you have that faith, it changes the game. When you apply yourself, like I said, I was out of church for over a month. I was in a really bad place spiritually and, and mentally. And the moment, literally the moment I stepped foot back into my church, everything changed. Like just everything changed. And, and it made me realize like, bro, what are you doing like, let's go, man. And now I'm back in there. I'm grinding. I'm doing, you know. I, I, I tell everyone who hits me up and asks me for information, and I'm going to end on this. When people say you're doing so good and, you know, the work God's doing, you give God all the credit. To God be all the glory. But what I always tell people is this. I'm not where I want to be. I'm not. I want to be a better Christian. I want to be a better follower. I want to be more consistent. I don't want to have attitude problems. Like, I don't want to be on everything about me. I'm not perfect. 
I am not perfect. I am a sinner and I, I make mistakes every day. But I'm striving to be better. And I know I can be better through Christ. And that's all there is to it, man. I love y'all. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this. But I just felt the Lord putting it on me tonight to speak out. So that's what I'm doing. I love y'all. God bless. If you need me, message me. Like I said, on Twitter, at the Rob Smith. If you know me personally, hit me up through all social media platforms. I love you guys. I will pray for you. Have a good week. Peace.